it up to questions from the media for Gold Knights forward Chandler Stevenson. We'll hold just a moment for a few questions for Chandler to come in. First one will go to Jesse Granger with The Athletic. Hey Chandler, how's it going? Good, how you doing? Good. You, you never like to see a teammate go, especially one like Paul Stasny, but when, when the team makes that trade this offseason, did you really view it as, as an opportunity for you? And is that kind of your mentality going into this training camp? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, it's tough to see a guy like Stas go and, uh, you know, even Schmitty. Um, but, you know, that's the business. It, it sucks. And, um, you know, obviously playing with passions, Stoney, they make uh, your life really easy, but so does any line, uh, anybody you're with on this team, uh, they, anybody can play. So, um, you know, it's fun with whoever you're with. Next question for Chandler. We'll go to Ben Goats with the Las Vegas Review Journal. Hey Chandler, thanks for your time. I know it's been like already a year and a half, but I guess how different is this training camp compared to uh, the last one you had with the Capitals where you were, you know, fighting for a spot and now you're arriving in camp with a four-year contract extension in hand? Yeah, I mean, um, just, you know, kind of a sigh of relief, I guess. Um, you know, obviously being here and coming here to know what to expect. Um, but, you know, um, once got playing and meeting everybody and just kind of being around drink fans, everything like that, um, it was something that, you know, me and uh, family and everybody was, you know, excited about and, wanted to uh, be here for a long time. So I'm um, glad that that got done and uh, we're finally getting going. Reminder for media, if you have any questions for Chandler Stevenson, you can raise your hand below. Next question for him. We'll go to Justin Emerson with Las Vegas Sun. Hey Chandler, between the, the schedule, the travel, the divisional realignment, what do you think is going to be the most uh, different thing, the most odd thing that you're going to have to get used to about this coming season? Uh, I think kind of everything. It's not, it's not going to be like any other regular season, um, kind of similar to the bubble, I think. And, um, you know, I think it's got to, you know, you can't get behind the eight ball early. You got to uh, jump out in front and take full advantage first game. So um, I think that's kind of the, um, what coach and staff and everybody's preaching here, uh, just to, you know, right out of the gate, um, be one of the top teams and, um, everybody believes that we can be. So um, I think that that's going to be huge and um, just kind of get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Next question will come from Vince Sapienza with Channel 5 Las Vegas. It's Chandler. You know, the common theme was, you know, energy was high. It's the first day of training camp. I'm curious how much that is that, you know, a reason for it being that hockey is back and the other reason that energy needs to stay high because you only have – so many of these practices before things do get real. So I guess the importance of this training camp feels even more so than, than maybe years past. Yeah. And, you know, good guys were here, um, you know, for the past month, two months skating. So um, everybody was, you know, ready to go uh, once playoffs was done. So um, I think that that's obviously huge. Um, a lot of guys you see, they look like they're in mid season form. So, um, you know, nobody's shown any rust or um, anything like that. So um, I'm really excited to get going and everybody else is too, because everybody looks so good. That'll conclude Chandler Stevenson's availability today. Chandler, thanks for your time. Thank you.